This is the Benelli M2. So, I did the video on the Benelli M4. I did the video on the Benelli Supernova. This is the M2. Probably the most popular version of the M of the M series of Benelli's, but to be honest with you, I was more familiar with the M4 than I was with the M2. Um, the M2 comes in a bunch of different configurations, more so than the M4. The M4 has the pistol grip and then it has a stock, and then this kind of typical traditional style stock, whereas the M2 has both of those things and a bunch of other configurations that I can't remember right now. So, this is actually my first time shooting this shotgun today for the first time. And the first thing I'm noticing about it is how light it is compared to Supernova and the M4. This gun is really light, like noticeably light. And it is technically a pound lighter than the M4. Um, I gotta be honest with you, this is like very comfortable light, like personable light. Like I can't get over the fact of how light this gun is. And I like it. Uh, I like it quite a bit actually. So this is the biggest difference between the M4 and the M2 is basically the, the recoil system. So on the Benelli M4, it is a gas operated piston system. This is the inertia system from Benelli that Benelli is actually really known for. Um, and so the M4 was created at a request for the military, whereas this is this inertia system is what Benelli is actually really truly known for pretty much coming up with and what makes them so popular and so famous. Essentially, it keeps the gun really, really clean and it actually runs off the energy of the recoil um, in, in, in a, if you ask me, a very ingenious kind of way. I'm trying to remember how the recoil sensation felt on the M4 versus this. So let me see. So it's almost very synonymous to the PWS piston system. And I know this isn't a piston system, but the way it feels, you can, you can kind of feel the motion going back and forth, back and forth, but it's relatively soft. I, I, like, I like it, it's, it's short and it's smooth. And compared to the M4, man, I gotta say, I'm not really sure, let me see. Today's video was sponsored by Acre. Acre is a subscription-based platform for buying gold. You make small monthly payments, and once your account hits a certain threshold, Acre will send gold straight to your house. There's a $30, $50, and $100 option. Each month, when your account reaches the price of 2.5 gram, 5 grams, or 10 gram Acre gold bars, Acre will then discreetly ship you a small gold bar every time your account hits that price threshold, and then credit any remainder to your next gold bar. Acre also just released their new merch line of hats and t-shirts, so if you're interested in buying gold or simply want to learn more information, you can Click my affiliate link in the description section of this video. Let's see, let's see. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Um, I'm trying to remember what lows I shot when I shot the Benelli M4, because I think I was shooting um, a bit of a heavier load, but I actually shot these same target loads in the Benelli M4 too. I feel personally, this one kind of recoils a little bit lighter. Now, it might have something to do with the way this stock system is set up if this is in a more traditional setup system whereas my benelli and four was more of a pistol grip that may have something to do with it i don't know but i can say i i like it it's very it's very front to back i do feel it i almost when i'm shooting it i almost envision it just kind of sliding forward and coming back sliding forward coming back sliding forward coming back i don't know if that's actually what it's doing but that's how it feels like where it's visualizing my mind whenever i'm actually shooting the gun so I remember when I did my video on the M4, I talked about how I don't have that anxiety about getting thumb bite whenever I load it. Um, I think the M4 loads a little bit smoother than this. This isn't bad by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I just feel like the M4 loading process is a little bit smoother um, than this one here. And I think even the Benelli Supernova was a little bit smoother as well. Nonetheless, if I had to rank it, this would be third out of those two and those two are pretty and that's saying a lot because those two are really smooth in terms of loading as you can kind of see there um but nonetheless 
yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty dope. Um, let's talk about some of the features on this gun. So of course you got this comfort stock here, which while I'm actually shooting, you don't notice it until you look at the stock and then put it up to your cheek. So kind of looking at here, when you have some of these elements that are, are designed to kind of mitigate the recoil, I don't know the technical name of what they call these. Like I said, it's the first time shooting this. I think it's like comfort tech or something like that. But this here is actual like a rubber pad. It's actually really soft um, while still being firm at the same time, almost like a memory foam almost. Um, and so when you bring it up to, to your cheek, it's kind of cool to the touch and it feels really good. Um, I do think this is a little bit long, the stock is a little bit long for me. That's just personal. I'm pretty sure you can get swap these back fades out and make it shorter, longer, whatever you need to do. Um, of course you get these ghost ring sights. Yes sir. We got this peep, this peep sight, ghost ring sight in the rear. And then you have these night sights in the front. This, this hand grip here is, visually I like it. The way it feels in hand, it's not as beefy as some other shotguns that I've dealt with, which I kind of like, and you, it kind of really helps with contouring right here, really helps my hand kind of get around it. Like I said, I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but if you look here, it's almost like a perfect match if you really wanted to grip it that way. Um, I do have a tendency to want to kind of go thumb over barrel, but, but this ain't an AR, you be all right. Actually, you won't be all right. Don't do that. <laughs> that's, 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 that's smart at all. Um, the action is really smooth. It's noticeably smooth. I really like it a lot, um, but that's not really saying much. Every vanilla I've ever shot had a very smooth action. A little bit of, little bit of difference here and there based on the recoil systems and then with the Supernova being a pump, but I think by and large, <laughs> oh, I like this a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So as far as the trigger on the Benelli M2, let's see here. Yeah, yeah. All right, so essentially what you got is a single stage trigger. Um, there's not much creep, at least under live fire. And then here, that's your reset. Very firm, very positive reset, which I actually really like a lot. Uh, I'm trying to think. I can't have, I just don't have anything bad to say about this trigger, to be honest with you. It's really, really, really nice, actually, as a matter of fact. Um, let me see if I do it on the dry fire and see if there's any noticeable creep in the trigger. So there is. So right here, right there, boom. So there's a little creep and then a break. The break is ever so slightly hollow. Um, but under live fire, you do not notice this creep. You don't. By the time you start to perceive the creep, the gun's going off. Um, so, I, which I would think matters more than anything else. But that being said, I will end with this. At this point, I've shot my fair share of Manelli shotguns. And I gotta say, this Benelli M2, to me, makes a great case for being your one and only shotgun. If that's something that you're looking for. Um, it's not cheap. I'm not even gonna sell you on that. The Supernova is more affordable than this, but that's a pump shotgun. If you're looking for a semi-automatic shotgun, just a really good one, and then you never have to think about buying a shotgun ever again, and I might do, I'm gonna do a whole, I'm gonna follow this video up with a more in depth review on this gun. This is just my first time shooting and giving my thoughts. But I will say there is something to be said about this being that one go-to and only shotgun that you have. It's just so damn versatile. It's so light. Um, the capacity is six rounds plus seven. It triggers phenomenal. It's just a, it's a good looking shotgun at that. I'm pretty sure, and they make a whole host of accessories that you can get to trick this thing out and really make this something truly special, which I plan, have every plan on doing. Um, but that being said, I mean, I don't know, man. I love my Benelli M4. That was the gun that I've always wanted and I wanted it for 10 years. And when I got it, I met the hero and I loved it. Um, this might be and I remember had talking to kind of in a conversation with a friend of mine who was telling me, nah, the M2 is going to be better. And I'm like, I don't know about that one. And 
you know what? The bastard might be right. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.